Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. Kaka, I am happy for the Janzis. Yesterday, I monitored the ongoing protests across the country. And I'm happy that Janzis have decided to totally renovate this country at the national level. And the renovation is trickling down to the county level and even to the constituency level. Specifically, I want to thank and address the people of Kericho County where yesterday a lot of reforms happened. A Kericho County we know is a county of Kalenjins. I am not ethnically addressing this issue but there's something I want us to learn from uh, Kericho County. For so many years, you'll find we've been playing tribal politics. Tribal politics means if the president is a Kalenjin, no matter what he does, <clears throat> even if he kills, even if he does whatever he does, his people protect him as their own. Msimuguze huyo ni mutuwetu. For some time, Kenya has been engaging itself into such a kind of uh, tribal politics. But this time round, it is different. You've had press conferences before in this country that uh, when a law in government um, makes a mistake and is being summoned, laws guard and say, we are being targeted. When a kiss is in power and does a mistake and gets summoned, the kiss is hold a press conference and say we are targeted. The recent one, ni he he ya mitika linturi ya he mbolea. When mitika linturi was being crucified, the people of Meru came together and said we are being targeted because mitika linturi ni mtuwetu. Kuna huyu mwingine anaitwa Jafet Kome. Uyu mwenye resign as an IG. There is a time Raila Odinga called for his resignation. I think last year 2023. The people of Meru gathered together. And they said. As the people of Meru. We are being targeted because. Javed Kome is our son. This time round. There were nationwide protests. Pushing for William Ruto's resignation. And. Kericho County was one of the counties which was asking the resignation of William Ruto and the resignation of the Kericho governor. Now, the politicians we know who fear young people and maybe they fear pictures going out that their county is demonstrating. To counter the demonstrations, Kenya we have a tendency whereby sometimes when the young people or the people are peacefully demonstrating, the political class finds a way to counter the protest. And in that, they go hire people, they pay them with rungus, with buttons, they go and attack other people. This happened in Kericho yesterday. And this is the video in Kericho yesterday. After those people you've seen there, who police protected? Yesterday, the Janzis swore and said, it's a day to teach these goons a lesson so that next time they don't show up carelessly to the field. The Janzis gathered themselves. They attacked those gangs and they confiscated. Kizungu yawa. Confiscated. Yani kunyanganya 
Cornicificate. Yeah, is that how it's pronounced? Corni, Corninkificate. <laughs> okay. They took those buttons from them. Boldly wakasema, we cannot hold peaceful demonstrations. We can't be committed in changing this country. But you people, you brand yourself as business community. You come and you want to fight us. We must show you and teach you a lesson. And this is what they did to them. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to specifically address the political class after the videos I've shared. If you are a politician in the Republic of Kenya, either you are an MCA, either you are a member of parliament, either you are a governor, either you are a senator, either you are a woman representative, either you are the president. If you want to continue with your tenor in office, if about William Ruto, who you tunapeleka nyumbani, who you, who you kesi yake akuna, who you tunapeleka, wacha tuongelea magava na kujachini. If you want to succeed, read the mood of the people. Read the mood of the people. Why? The office you are holding, you are there courtesy of the people. Article 1, I like Eluo who was explaining himself. Article 1 says, all power belongs to the people. All. Not a half, not a quarter. All power. Yani nguvu zote katika taifa la Kenya. Zimepewa wananchi. And the people may. Yeah? Or the people shall. Mandatory. <laughs> Mandatory. The people shall. Or the people may. Optional. So. If you are. An elected leader in office, you are not there permanent. The people may remove you out of the office. Right? So, before they come for you, first thing, read the mood of the people. Do not provoke. Don't provoke the people. Once you provoke the people, you make it worse on your side. The best thing you can do as a leader is find a way of conversation. Find a way if they reject A, go slow. This is what is killing William Ruto. William Ruto anaambiwa wacheni kutembea makanisa ukipiga siyasa. Anaacha siku tatu then anarudi. It doesn't know how to read signs. All power belongs to the people. And the people may. Yeah? May. So if you can't read the signs of the people, if you can't read the times, if you cannot read seasons, then you do not qualify to be a leader. A leader is someone who listens to the people. A leader is someone who understands what the people want. If people tell you it's A, stop doing B. Do A. The problem with Ruto 
when he's being told we want A, he runs to C. He thinks all power belongs to him. He will go home early in advance. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.